Okay, good evening guys. Welcome back to the channel. So tonight's unboxing video is brought to you by none other than let's find out uh, mm, mm, okay let's see what came in the package today ah maven performance hmm ah so key. Let's see what's in the box. Okay. Again, don't mind my ashiness. I am ashy. So we got bolts. And we got a cloth like thingy. Wrapped in uh, hmm. let's see. Oh, it's a cup. Oh, cool. Okay, okay. Good is all year round. Let me find out maybe going on with good things here. What else they got here for us? Let's see what the meat of the Bible. See what Santa brought tonight. Okay, sorry, I'm trying to do this in one hand. Holding a cell phone. Oh. Smash camera. Okay. Well packaged. Okay, O-rings for small and mid turbos. So I would assume that that goes right in that groove. So for those who was asking or are saying that um, the flex bellows that I got from Ace Race Parts weren't supposed to be structural to the turbo mounting this is the reason why i proceeded with what i was gonna do it's gonna be held up by this maven performance center cartridge mount which is a well done feature you weld your tubes here you can either, you could do both sides or a single side the option is yours and then this will support the weight of the turbo and this is also an integrated drain port for a dash 10 fitting orb at the bottom here and that's it to it this uh, i think this is stainless steel and um the f the tube that goes in the side here i think is 1.75 or three quarter i am not too sure i would have to double check again on the website nicely recessed here for the bolts so you can bolt these into the lower end of your turbo flush them out nice and easy this thing got some nice weight that's why i said i think it's stainless steel and again with a beautifully integrated area here for the o-ring it's basically a no-brainer so what what where i'm going to mount this in the b5 is this is going to be welded to the strut bar that will be triangulated around the engine bay so the stock strut bar that's from an a6 that's currently in there uh the mounting points are still there however i am going to redesign a strut bar for it um but i can also use the standard location and just from one end mount the turbo and support it that way but what i think i'm going to do is it's going to be a half moon so it's going to be mounted like the bar is going to be straight this way parallel to this depending on how i'm fixing the turbo and then the tube will will come off of the of the main tube and come around 
other arc into the side here welded take welded to the next side so it will be bam bam turbo will sit on top the only problem with this is once you you locate your turbo it's a permanent since it's going to be welded um what i might do is instead of making this a fixed point i could probably do a a interlocking clevis type thing that they use for um swing outs on roll bar i could probably use something like that and make this curve piece removable instead of making it a permanent fixture onto the roll bar you know for quick access to removing the turbo instead of constantly have to go under the bottom to unscrew the turbo so that's uh something i might look into if i could find that smaller size to do um the mounting option to make it remotely possible to remove it so our rings go there and so there you have it so that's tonight's um unboxing video really quick and short um so go and check them out uh how i came about this i've been again i follow a lot of muscle car um channels on instagram and also on facebook and i uh, and watch a lot of youtube channels that utilize a lot of these products i try to support all small businesses some uh, um, a majority of them are military um, um retirees and you know vet supported so i try to support a lot of them by supporting these products that makes my life easy and make solutions to get stuff done easier especially when it comes to building these cars and like i said i follow a lot of them as well and get ideas from them because there are some really cool people in the industry and you guys should definitely check them out especially if you're looking for solutions to doing some custom mounts where you're not worrying about cracks and stuff um pricing for this uh being a small one you know prices go up and down based on market value and you know availability of materials and what have you so you check them out on their website maven performance or maven speed rather sorry mavenspeed.com or just google maven performance products and they have three sizes this is the small they got medium and large to support those pro mod turbos so you can definitely check it out if you have a much larger turbo i'm using a 600 horsepower rated turbo so it's a small frame so hence why i got the smaller option but like i said they have three sizes to cover all ranges of turbos so check them out look at how different turbos are mounted definitely for an audi it's um a probably an unknown but uh if you're mounting your turbo in the front of the car if you're tube chassis in your the front of your car and you need to support your turbos this is definitely one of those options you should definitely check out and see if it will work for you so with that that's tonight's video just a quick montage of what i did so peace till next time